Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, with the US returning after a day out in observance of Washington's birthday or the President's Day, the Australian dollar in the early session tumbled after the wake of the RBA minutes. In the minutes of the uh, February RBA policy meeting, the central bank outlined its shift from a tightening bias to a neutral policy stance, although falling house prices remain a fawn in the side of the Australian economy. Prices are down from their 2017 peaks in, Se- in Sydney and in Melbourne by 12% and 9% respectively. In the minutes, the RBA also said that the house prices in Perth and Darwin were significant. From an outlook of the technical view for the Australian dollar is that uh, the bear and bull case is still pretty much in a challenge and I remain neutral at these levels. Although close towards the 72 cents, I would expect to start putting a short position on. For now, the range is seen of an intraday of 71.15 to 71.75. And let's see if the market can break above that 71.75 level to expose the reason of 72.40, as I mentioned, I would like to start adding or start a short position. Well, it was all challenges to the upside for the euro overnight, as the market surges and confirms the recent doji in terms of the dragonfly. And you can see from there, the market has posted a bullish outside range day to add to the bullishness, along with the RSI breaking over the midway point and the MACD now nearly confirming a bull signal too. What was assessed overnight was the fact that the US dollar took a further tumble and posted a weekly low of 96.23 and still remains on track to challenge the 95.40 since the break of 96.40. This has also confirmed the outside range day for the US dollar index. Look towards the top side of 113.5570 to see if the market can break there. If it does, then we are looking at 114.45 to 65. But I believe the bears are still quite strong at this level. And since the rejection from overnight, one more contest could see the market make or break. And if so, we, rejection would see the market fall back to 112.50. The dollar yen outlook hasn't quite broken back to the bullish case. And at this stage, it's still coasting to a sideways pattern, with the resistance still capped around 110.95, also known as the supply zone. I do expect to see the market fail towards this level and look back towards the region of 110.25 or lower towards the region that comes in at 109.70.75. Last week I mentioned about divergence being in the pound and also the MACD has straightened up to more of a bullish stance and the break of the trend line has confirmed from the strong rally that we got last night and reached its objective of 130 to 130.45.55 after posting a high of 130.72. I'm neutral at this stage because I like to see how the market plays to the last three days of this bullishness. There is still uncertainty to the Brexit and at this stage the market still looks to question whether the, we will get a hard landing. In the meantime though, let's see if the market does actually fail towards this top side. Now do note this is where the market broke around this level from this descending triangle. So they could find resistance roughly around 130.85 to 131.25. Looking at the weekly outlook on gold, the market surges after the break of 1,326 and posted a fresh high this morning of 1,341. It is assessed that the markets from the break of 36 could see further gains up towards 44 to 47 and 51. Still note that towards this region of 50 to 65 was heavily contested and supply did set the, the, uh, the sell-off in terms of the safe haven demand. Lacking and we did see a retreat from there. Although safe haven demand has been very apparent in the last few weeks, and with the ADX also trending, along with this bullish stance, but getting a little bit overbought, still expects to see the market reach its target of 50 to 65. On the day, support was seen at 36. And wrapping up with oil, well, the market is posting a slight breather after the recent few days we've seen of bullishness with the market retreating slightly. I don't expect to see the market pull back too much. And with the support holding around 54.95 to 55.25, I do expect to see further gains 
and head towards its target of $58 a barrel. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Interday Report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.